Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In today's class we are going to study sand casting the casting operation. We are studying fundamentals of metal casting, and metals for casting. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe, and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects, to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. In the sand casting operation, after the core is positioned and the two halves of the mold are clamped together, the casting is performed. The gating and the riser system in the system must be designed to deliver liquid metal into the cavity and provide for a sufficient reservoir of molten metal during solidification shrinkage. Air and gases must be allowed to escape. Following solidification and cooling, the sand mold is broken away from the casting to retrieve the part. The part is then cleaned, gating and riser system is separated and sand is removed. Finally, casting is inspected, completing the casting operation. One of the hazards during pouring is that the buoyancy of the molten metal will displace the core. It results from the weight of molten metal being displaced by the core, according to Archimedes' principle. This force is described as Fb equals to the difference between W, M, and Wc, where Fb is the buoyancy force expressed in newtons. W, M is the weight of molten metal displaced expressed in newtons, and Wc is the weight of the core expressed in newtons. So, we have studied the sand casting operation. Thank you.